Hey everybody, Mark here from AmericanAeration.com and in this video I wanted to talk about uh, an important point that may have been missed in a previous video we did some time back. It was about a year ago I think that we posted this um, video on the top rated aerators that we have for uh, ponds of one acre in size. And this has been a very popular video. A lot of folks search for uh, pond aerators based on the size of the pond they're trying to work with. That makes total sense. But uh, there's a really important caveat to all this that we need to talk about, and I don't think it was very uh, was ever mentioned in the video that we did previously. So when we look at these aerators that are in this video, and, and I'll link to that below too, so you can check that out if you're still in the in the uh, search stage of, of your journey here. But these are all quarter horsepower systems with a single diffuser. And as I've said in many, many videos previously, if we can get a diffuser down to 12 feet or deeper, and this is by manufacturer's specifications, if we can get one 12 feet or deeper, we can cover up to about an acre of pond area with that single diffuser. And that's important to remember for coverage. All of the manufacturers have various recommendations that would equate to a certain size of pond. As you get to smaller sizes, let's say they might suggest uh, it will cover a quarter acre pond from six to eight feet deep, a half acre pond from eight to 10 or eight to 12 feet deep or something like that. And then almost all of them say that once they can get to 12 feet or deeper, they'll cover an acre in size. So keeping that in mind, a lot of folks are going to search for these and they're going to think that, well, this single diffuser quarter horsepower system will work in my pond because it's an acre in size. If it's uniform, and that's the key. If the shape is uniform, this all works out perfectly and it's a slam dunk to fit an aerator to a pond easy peasy, but if the pond is oddly shaped, this changes the equation quite a bit. Let me show you why. So as we go in to, I'm going to take you over to the American Aeration website and we'll go to the pond calculator page. This will allow you to put in some dimensions and a depth and it will help you figure out not only your surface area size, but your gallon volume and your acre feet volume. These latter two numbers are very useful for treatment applications, so it's good to know. But what we're going to focus on here is the surface area size. I want you to pay close attention here. I put in 210 feet in length by 210 feet in width. 210 feet square comes out right around one surface acre in size. So around 200 feet by 200 feet, you're talking about a, a one surface area. Other numbers that can equate to smaller pond sizes, roughly, you can say that a 100 by 100 foot pond uniformly shaped will be about a quarter acre. 150 by 150 foot pond will be around a half acre in size. And then again, 200 by 200, we're pushing up to an acre in size. It's important to remember these numbers and we'll use the one acre size as a reference here because that's kind of our theme for this video. But I want you to also look at what happens when I put in some different dimensions. We're gonna put in 100 feet by 400 feet. And here we're pushing up to a one acre size pond as well, 100 by 400 feet. Now, if we're trying to cover a pond of this size, we will not likely do it with a single diffuser. No matter where we put it along the length, uh, we're not going to be able to affect the entire body of water. The width is no problem because it's narrow. It's less than 200 feet wide. But with 400 feet in length, we're actually double almost what a, a one acre pond size would be by dimension. And so in effect, by length, I'm looking at this pond as a two acre size range, two acres worth of length, okay? If that makes sense the way I've described it. So assuming I can maintain 12 feet of depth throughout most of this pond, 
I can assume that if I put two diffusers in and can get them down to 12 feet, they'll cover an acre each and a two diffuser array will work great in this pond of 100 by 400 feet. As you stretch out a little bit longer, you may start to look at three diffusers to cover it. Certainly if your depth starts to change, remember depth gives you coverage. Lack of depth reduces coverage out of the diffuser. So in some of these ponds, you will find that one end will be deep and then it will taper off to a more shallow position at the far end. So if we're dealing with 400 feet in length and one side, let's say one third of the pond is 12 feet deep, but as I go to the other end, I'm tapering down to about six feet gradually. There's a very good likelihood that two diffusers may cover it, but most likely three may be better. And it's because in many of these ponds, the shallower areas will tend to have more problems or develop trouble before the deeper end will. Not always the case, but that's, that's common. And so you wanna make sure that your shallower areas are well aerated if you can do it. I don't generally work below just a few feet, but if I have some, some space to deal with, six feet is great. You know, I'll certainly try to turn the water over there with a subsurface aerator, or, or if I get less than that, I might use a surface aerator. But this is just to give you an example that when we're talking about a one acre size pond, the size uh, not only counts, but the shape is what really matters too. And when you're looking for help, when people write into me, or when you're inquiring with somebody else that's working with aerators and looking for advice, sometimes when you just say, I have a one acre pond, it doesn't tell the whole story. It's probably best to send information in with the dimensions, actual dimensions, or the location of the pond so we can find it on Google Earth and look at it ourselves and then figure out what it will take. Now, I think straightforward ponds that are not too large, have very good consistent depth, really you know, deep water, those are easier to fit and many people can probably do it themselves with information just like we're providing here. But when you get into depth variances, oddly shaped ponds, very large waters, you definitely want to consider doing an aerial mapping on those. We do that in a lot of cases, and in any, any case where somebody needs help or assistance, we're happy to do a mapping, look at the depths and run some numbers to figure out precisely what kind of system is going to work best for a particular pond setting. So never hesitate to reach out if you need assistance like that. You can always find me at AmericanAeration.com. I'm happy to help. And I hope this video is helpful to explain that not all one acre ponds are equal and we need to address not only the, the size and the depth, but also the shape to really fit a system well to a particular pond body. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a great day wherever you are.